are you searching for the ultimate tool to validate your UX design? Let's discover Quant UX, a free open source prototyping tool to quickly test your designs and get data-driven insights. The visual designer provides UI elements that you can connect and animate to make realistic prototypes. It also includes a Figma integration if you already have your designs made there. Once ready, you simply share the link and learn through user feedback and analytics. At your disposal, you have features such as user tasks, screen recordings, A-B testing, heat maps, drop-off, and more. To start using QuantUX, you can create a free account and use their cloud version immediately. It's entirely free. If you want to self-deploy it, you can use the QuantUX Docker repository. Or you can use a platform like ours, Elestio, to deploy it seamlessly on your server or the cloud provider of your choice. We handle the installation, backups, updates, and ongoing maintenance for you. To start using Quant UX on our platform, head to ls.io and click on Login. Then deploy my first service, type Quant UX, select, choose between the different cloud providers, regions, and service plans based on your needs, and then Next. From this screen, you can adjust more advanced settings, choose between different levels of support. The first one is free and included by default. And once you're all good, hit the Create Service button. Once the installation is finished, you will receive this email telling you that your instance is ready. Follow the click here to get the password link. You arrive on LSTO administration dashboard for your Quant UX instance. Copy the password to your clipboard and follow the link. Then type your email and paste the password from your clipboard to login and press the button. We arrive on Quant UX interface. We don't have any prototypes yet, so we need to create the first one. Hit the create button. Let's name it website demo and you can choose between different screen sizes based on what is your target you have the default one for smartphone tablet desktop but if you want bigger size you can just type it and go that way let's choose desktop and create all right we arrive on the design editor it's blank let's create our different screens add screen we can Put it, and then we can zoom in, zoom out. It is a Figma-like interface. Let's say we want to create a landing page for a project, a product we are launching. On the right of Add Screen, you can add basic elements. Rectangle. Let's say we will lay out the header of our page. And inside, another element, some text. Let's say title, but we can see it because it's black on black. Let's switch to white. And then we can adjust multiple things. But the easiest is to take the size of the parent and then on the text to align it here and also align it here. If you are familiar to Figma, it's almost the same controls, making it very easy. Let's make the text size a bit smaller. My incredible product. You can also change the font. Perfect. Now I want to change the background color. On the left, I can select the box. Adjust the color. Let's choose something more blue. OK. Uh, still on it. We can adjust the size and the border radius. You have pretty fine values, or you can do it side by side. We added basic elements, but you also have interactive widgets, which are buttons, input, tables, many things that you can reuse. Here it's in wireframe, but you also have advanced, some templates, which are ready to use components, iOS if you want, to mock up an iOS app, it's pretty easy to do. Even if it's a website, let's choose those buttons. Click me and let's add another one. And you have uh, the red lines making it easy to align items. 
let's say button one, button two. The editor is powerful. You can select both, right click, group, and you can see on the left all the grouping. But I'm not the best designer and it will take time to mock up a good landing page for a product overview. Instead, we have different options. The first one is to bring a Figma design. Let's say you have your wireframe, your mockup already ready on Figma. You can go somewhere, I think it's here, import and choose Figma. On their YouTube channel, on the official one, they have a guide to explain to you how to do it easily. Or the second option is to use one of the examples of QuantUX to go further into the features. If we go to their lovely websites, go to examples, and you have ready to use prototypes that we can use to continue broadening the different features of QuantUX. Open it, and we arrive on their demo instance of QuantUX containing the prototypes we saw on the example page and we are on snack counter and all the different screens they prepared let's go back to the design design page you can see it contain way more components than what i did and it looks way better so it can give you a better understanding of what you are capable of using QuantUX. But the goal of QuantUX is not only to do designs like Figma or other tools. The goal is to test your designs and to see if the users are using it the way you expect them to do. When you have prepared your user interface, you can use the prototype section to define which button or which item lead to which screen. You can see the arrow showing you from this screen. We can go back to there and how each screen is connected to the other ones. Once your design and your actions are done, you can try it with the start simulation. You have a nice animation playing. The cursor change. Yes, we can see it. If I press the button, it opens this. You can click to close it here on switch it open another screen and you have a nice QR so you are able to share it. Currently we are in design mode, prototyping mode, but then you can switch on the top right into the heat map mode. And here is to get feedback of people who tried your product. Well, your prototype actually. You have the heat maps showing you where users are touching, moving their cursors. So you know precisely what your users are doing. You also have user journey, which is a bit more a mess, but you have all the different flows and it's drawing you flow to understand what is going on. You also have tasks and drop off. We will see tasks later. It's something you set up on your prototype and you also have screens. When you click on different things, you get some analytics on the right. And last but not least, on the left, you have the test sessions. You can disable them if you don't want them to be taken into account into the different features, but you can also replay them to know exactly what your users were doing. So if you play, you have a trail on the right, or you can see their cursor and actions in real time. Let's go back to the prototype. And you also have global statistics on the right. You can add comments. Hey, and you will see the comments from the others. But as it is a public instance, it will just spam it. Then what I mentioned earlier, you have the tests where you can define some tasks. So you have the show menu. Can you find the menu? What are the steps? And these are the ones created for this prototype, but you can also create yours with a name and the expected steps, which is useful when you want to validate specific things about your UX mockups. And then, like what we had earlier, you have some other analytics inside the results panel. The task results, how many people used the menu, show the details, clicked on the button, and data distribution to see the number of interactions 
based on the time they spent on the prototype. As always, I highly recommend you to look at QuantUX website and at their documentation to discover how it works in depth and to discover features that I didn't present in this quick platform overview that you could benefit from. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed discovering QuantUX with us. Please hit the like button to help our channel be more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our next platform overviews. If you want to continue your open source journey, watch this video, available here.